Carl, of course, a, a slightly different focus coming up at the, the stadium tomorrow in the trophy for you. But I mean, first things first, how are the boys sort of fair and fitness and, and mood wise and all that type of thing off the back of the, the game a couple of days ago? Yeah, the main focus is is how they would respond mentally for me. Um, physically, we were always going to make changes given the circumstances with personnel at the minute. Um, but I said to them on Wednesday after the game that we had to come in with a smile on our face. Um, you know, work well in training, which they have done. So I've been really pleased with the response. Obviously, that the proof will be in the performance tomorrow. We'll we'll look after some legs, um, because like you say, we've got a busy period coming up. But you know, in, in the situation that we're in, there's two ways you can approach it. Um, you know, you throw the towel in, or you stick your chest out and you get on with it, and you ride the storm because we are short-handed in terms of availability. Um, but. I don't want to have to use that as an excuse. You know, we want the boys to, the ones that are stepping out on the pitch, especially tomorrow, to attack the game with loads of confidence. And, and that's the only option for me. You know, it, it has to be a positive mindset and a good reaction uh, from the disappointment on Wednesday. Yeah, and, and mentioning Wednesday, obviously a few new faces in the team, sort of late additions with, with like you say, numbers being a bit low over the last kind of week or so. But... Of course, a difficult one for some of them in terms of not having too much sort of time on the training pitch before going into that game. But how much he's looking forward to to seeing their kind of full potential once they've had that bit of time to to get used to the way you play because obviously it's quite a, a demanding style and, and not everyone kind of clicks with it straight away. Really, oh, absolutely. We knew going into the game on Wednesday that especially for the the new players that it was going to be so difficult for them. Um, you know, getting used to, to new players around them, a, a demanding way of, of uh, how, how, how we want to play, you know, is very difficult, it's particularly for Beachy goalkeeper. Um, you know, ideally we'd like pre-season to get them bedded in uh, how we do things. So, listen, we were, as much as we wanted a positive outcome on Wednesday, we were always very realistic that it was going to be, it was going to be tough. Um, again, we've only been able to train this morning because we want to look after the legs. The boys were off yesterday, so it's still really early days for the, the new lads coming in. But it's another opportunity against good opposition. Um, we've done our homework on, um, on Western Supermare and it won't be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. So it'll be a good opportunity for them just to get minutes into their legs. Uh, again, getting used to the system and how we play and, uh, and it's a good opportunity for them on that front. Yeah, and you mentioned Western Supermare there, of course. I mean, neutral spectators and stuff will, will obviously look at it as yourselves being at home and then being in the National South and, and pinning you down as, as favourites. But obviously you've already played a National South side this season as well. And I mean, like you say, there's not exactly going to be a huge disparity when you refer to it in that sense a little bit. No, this is a good side. Um, you know, they like to play. We've seen, we've seen plenty of them. They've got some experience in there with, uh, with Football League experience, Ruben Reid. Up top, who leads the line, you know, he makes the ball stick. Um, they can play off him in, in high areas. Robbie Wilmot, who's played a lot of games in the league. So uh, they've, and they've got a couple more. So it, it's a really tough game. Ideally, we would like to, um, we would like to play a, a stronger side, but we've got to, we've got to rest legs. Um, you know, the boys that, the more senior players, if you like, we really have to look after them. So it, it'll be a tough game for any team that, feel, that we uh, choose to field tomorrow. And um, these are opposition that we need to respect. Um, so whilst it's an opportunity for new players to get used to the system and how we play, uh, it's not going to be easy for them. You know, it's going to be really tough. So we're expecting a, a difficult task, um, but it's a one that we're looking forward to, and it's it's great that it's come around so soon after after Wednesday. Yeah, and you mentioned a, a little on the the fitness front in terms of. A few of the more senior lads who've been playing week in, week out, really having little bits of niggles here and there. But of course, Joe Grayson's not too far off coming back after his enforced sort of absence through concussion. And and a little bit of good news on, on Ed Francis as well, that he's not going to be unavailable for as long as perhaps initially first thought as well. Yeah, no, the picture can change dramatically for us within the space of two or three weeks. So that's why I've emphasised to the boys that this is, uh, I've used the phrase ride the storm because it is temporary. So for me, mentality and how you approach it is, uh, is everything because, you know, this is an opportunity for us as a, as a group to get tighter um, and we urge the fans and everyone connected to the club to stick with us during this time because that's what we need. Um, when you're in, you know, moments of adversity and we're in a difficult period as we are in terms of personnel and what we can put on the pitch, um, this is the opportunity to show how strong we are as a club and as a group. 
Um, so I'll be really focused on making sure the mentality of the group's right for tomorrow and in the coming weeks um, and see you know, which players, hopefully all of them, can, can buy into the situation, realise that we need them more than ever. And, um, and then when we come out the other side and we get these players back, your Reds, um, and Wheelow, of course, who was missing Joe Grayson back next week. It's a different picture, and then the team is, is looking very strong again. So, yeah, real test of character. And, um, yeah, I want to see a real positive response from the boys, and I'm sure we will.